It's now been one year since the manhunt ended for escaped inmate Gonzalo Lopez. 365 days later, the Centerville community has worked to return to normal. We spent months following the escape, reading the reports, and talking to legislators about what happened. News 3's Morgan Rydell was in Centerville today and has more about how this incident changed TDCJ processes. It's one of the largest uh, search efforts for an escaped inmate in Texas Department of Criminal Justice history. It's been one year to the day since five family members were killed here at a home in Centerville by escaped inmate Gonzalo Lopez. Residents we speak with say they're ready to move on following a month of terror, but memories left at the gate here prove that these victims haven't been forgotten. We have four beautiful children and a grandfather that are no longer with us because Somehow or another, he got away. Mark Collins and his four grandsons were killed after they found themselves face to face with Lopez at their family cabin. The cartel hitman was serving a life sentence when he escaped a TDCJ inmate transport bus and remained on the run for a month. He was killed in a shootout with law enforcement after stealing a vehicle from the Collins cabin. Multiple reports detail issues the day of the escape including handcuffs being placed incorrectly, a lack of surveillance on the bus, and a broken metal detector at the prison. The TDCJ has since submitted a budget that was recently approved by legislators, which includes building upgrades and more surveillance equipment. While bus transports resumed shortly after Lopez was killed, the TDCJ has said this only happened following new recommendations to add video surveillance on those transports and an additional guard. In Centerville, Morgan Rydell, News 3. We have more coverage from this incident on our website, including a full copy of the post-escape reports.